Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tina. Um, I'm just here to bring you a little mini album that I have um, created. So this is obviously just a standard um, six by six kind of mini album. The front and back covers, they're hard um, covers and they have just been kind of covered in scrapbook paper and then this has got a ribbon closure so it's got a piece of lace here just um, covering where the ribbon is and then on the front um, I've got a whole kind of collage of items so I've got obviously the scrapbook paper which has all been distressinged I've got some um, you know a piece from some scrapbook paper that's been fussy cut out I've got one of my little printables here then I've got, um, similar to my button embellishments, but this is a flower obviously, but it's been made the same way. And then I've got some lace kind of collaged up and layered up here, different laces. Um, and then on the side it's just got a couple of pieces of lace here hanging. And then here this is some kind of vintage um, trim off of an old lampshade, which I just thought looked kind of pretty on there. And this is a um, vintage um, brooch. I mean, it's not hugely vintage, but, you know, kind of 20 years old or so. So um, that's what that is. And that's just clipped onto this trim, so it could easily be taken off. And then I've just done a handmade flower down in the bottom. So going inside, if you undo the, obviously, um, you know, the ribbon trim, like that. So on the first page here you've got a really big photo mat. I mean when I say really big obviously this album is only six by six so I mean it's not huge but you know compared to the album it's it's quite a good size. Um, covered with scrapbook paper it's backed onto this coffee dyed lace um, trim here and then you've got a little ruffle that's been hand stitched and then it's got some um, faux de monte couple of my principal pieces here, one of my button embellishments and some lace trim down the side. And then this is acting as a little tuck spot for just a little journaling card that just um, pulls out. So space for kind of journaling or, um, you know, photos. Then on the facing page, I have got here just some lace trim going down the side, a flower here, paper flower here, a chipboard tile that I've made and then here we've just got, um, this is a little cluster of my printables and they've all been kind of just stuck down and then this here is a photo mat with some coffee dyed um, paper which has been glued on as a little flap and now, now I can't get it open, I've obviously glued it together, there we go, um, glued on as a little flap there so you've got kind of journaling space here and obviously your photo mat here. And then also tucked behind are a couple of little journaling cards just with some of my principles there layered up and a little butterfly. They just tuck in here. And then over the page we've just got a big um, photo mat here and then a journaling kind of space here. Some of my printables layered up here bit of scrapbook paper there, um, kind of forming a little collaged effect of kind of paper items, another little photo mat there, some little flowers here and a bow and some lace trim and then tucked in there you've just got another journaling card there, um, you know, which goes in there. Then on the facing page you've got some lace trim um, and then it's got a paper flower here and then you've got one of my printables, um, some more of my printables up here, a vintage postage stamp, um, some of the vintage lace that's been coffee dyed and that has got this photo mat kind of backed onto it and then here's some faux de monte, a bit more lace and another photo mat up there in the corner so you've got a couple of photo mats on that page and then here you've just got um, a little journaling card that just pulls out there, that tucks in here I love these mini albums, um, you know, I kind of started out really kind of with the mini albums and then kind of moved on to journals more, but I do really love mini albums. They're just such a unique and special way to kind of store photos and I've done like special holidays and things like that um, in mini albums and just really love using them. Um, so yeah, 
So here I've just got a little folding kind of um, booklet. So this has got obviously a kind of photo mat on the front and then it's got um, some lace trim and a bow. And then opening out, you've got a little couple of photo mats there. Here you've got one of my principles there, which is acting as a tuck spot for, oops, another one of my principles, which is like a journaling card there. So obviously that gives you the full photo mat then. That just tucks in there. You've got some more lace trim down the side, a couple of flowers and some lace trim down here. And then you've got um, a little butterfly here. And then tucked behind, again, you've got a couple of um, my principles there just kind of layered up for decorative purposes. And then you've just got a couple more little photo mats or journaling cards that pull out there. And then on the facing page, Again, you've got um, a kind of folding little flip there with some um, coffee dyed paper. So you've got a photo mat here. You've got some lace trim and a little bow. That just folds back over. I've got a little Martha Stewart butterfly. Little cluster of my principles there and this beautiful teal coloured flower, which is just cut in half and obviously used half of it there. And then you've got another photo mat here to the side. Martha Stewart butterfly and then obviously tucked in the corner is, or tucked in here sorry, is another photo mat or journaling card there. Um, oh that had two different lace trims down the side there. I don't know whether you can really kind of see that but that's that. And then on this page you've got this large kind of photo mat here. You've got a vintage postage stamp. You've got a couple of the um, printables there kind of layered up. Some gorgeous lace trim down the side, a Tim Holtz rosette with this um, Amor um, chipboard tile on kind of painted with gold and stamped on there. And that's acting as a little tuck spot for this cute envelope that's just been punched out and I've glued it together, stamped on there, popped a little butterfly on, flower on the back, and then it's just got this teeny weeny, it's just the letter P, it's just from some scrapbook um, paper there that I just thought was kind of cute, so that just tucks in there. And then tucked in here, if I can actually get it out, is another journaling card just with some stamped corner there. You've obviously got another kind of photo mat there, which I did try and leave it kind of so you could tuck in a photo. So, um, it, yeah, it would have to kind of be cut round, obviously, for the rosettes, but, you know, you should be able to get behind a little bit to kind of stick your photo in you'd have to cut it kind of shaped if you see what I mean um, but you know you might choose to just leave that as one where you could see the paper because this is very pretty um, so that just tucks in there like that and then on the facing page uh, again a cluster of kind of items so a couple of my printables here lace trim a little bow another one of those beautiful teal flowers and then this here is just a folding kind of booklet with a couple of photo mats there a um, couple of my printables layered up on the front and then I just used some of that coffee dyed lace there as a kind of tab there with a flower and then tucked in is another little journaling card or photo you know mat um, with another printable and another little chipboard tile at the top so I mean my little mini albums have kind of evolved and a bit more junk journal slash mini albums now because obviously they've got lots of elements that we use in junk journaling um, but this one I tried to keep more mini album than junk journal if you see what I mean um, So on this one, we've got a big photo mat here again layered up on the coffee dyed um, lace here uh, A butterfly stuck down to the side which again, you know, you can kind of get under there to kind of pop your photo down uh, a large flower that I just made with a little flower center two different lace trims down the side and then just a vintage button just hung from there on a kind of bulb pin and then tucked behind there is just a large journaling card or kind of photo mat again um, just tucks in like that and then on the facing page I love this page um, you've just got a couple of kind of photo mats and then one of those big clocks and another clock um, so these are both from my printables different sets um, and then you've just got some of that coffee dyed lace trim down the side Another piece of lace here, some more lace here, and another one of those beautiful teal flowers. And I've just popped a mulberry flower in the centre. And then a little bow up the top. And then you've just got another journaling card that just slides in there. 
and then this is kind of going on to the final page now so you've got some lace trim down the side you've got some of that um, lace here a couple of my printables one of my matchbox tops a bit of that sewing pattern paper ruffle um, so that's where kind of elements from kind of the junk journals is more coming in things like this and the coffee dyed lace and things um, but here you've got obviously another photo mat a couple more photo mats here and then you've got this flower down the bottom which you know love using those and then that's a little kind of corner tuck spot there for another journaling card which has just got again a little vintage stamp and some of my printables and a Martha Stewart butterfly that just tucks back in there and then here on the inside of the back cover you've got again some lace trim down the side and then you've got um, a couple of my printables and have this birdcage one and then you've got a little bow down there flower here and then this one that was acting as obviously pocket here for this journaling card so that's that then you've got the photo mat there and then here you've got a photo mat with some lace trim and some diamante and this one is a kind of triple opening um, piece so you've got obviously kind of these three photo mats here and then you've got another one here so I mean obviously you could kind of pop photos on two of them journal in the middle or you know kind of however takes your fancy really um, you know completely up to you I mean obviously it is only a six by six inch um, you know album so I mean it is kind of a case of uh, printing your pictures you know smaller so that they do fit in the kind of sizes um, but yeah I mean I really like them I have shown before one of these that I've used as my own um, album it can be found I don't know whether I've actually got a playlist of my mini albums um, if I haven't I'll try and create one in the next few days um, and then you'll be able to kind of see you know how kind of photos look in them I think they're super fun to use and um, you know really nice kind of gift or something for people so yeah that's kind of the entire little album I think they're just really super fun super cute um, oops, sorry I keep knocking the camera um, yeah super fun super cute and obviously you know it stands up kind of on its own which is really rather nice um yeah and yeah my that's kind of it so that's for sale in my etsy shop now um hope that you liked it uh and yeah i mean you know if you want to kind of take a look and go over and check it out in my etsy then you know that would be great okay thanks very much for watching and i hope you all have a really nice rest of your day thanks very much Bye.